Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a particle system. So, we're going to add a something like a UV sphere. And then we're going to this little thing. You can see particles, particle properties. And you can click the plus icon and you just created a par particle system. Now you can see it's all going down, like slowly. To fix that, you can go to the velocity and on the normal you can change it if you want to. But it's gonna spread it out a little. Eleven, then it's going all going out. So I'm gonna put this on zero. I'm gonna change on the x-axis. Yeah. Now it's going to the x-axis. You can also do the minus. So it's gonna go over here. So you can see that. And then if you do it a little more, hold on. Yeah, if you do it a little more, you can see it's like going out. So I'm gonna keep doing this until I get to like a hundred. Then now it's like shooting out. Let me set that to zero again. You can change on the y axis minus zero. Oh wait, sorry, the y axis. Hold on. Now you can see it's going on to the y axis. Now if we change that and go to here, you can see it's gonna go to here. So yeah. And my favorite part, the z axis. You can crank it up and then now you can see it's going up. And then if you want to it to come back down, you can just lower the thing. And then it's gonna come back down. See, it's gonna come back down. But not now because like it ends right there. You can uh, uh, animate like mini guns with this. Hold on, let me show you. You can add a circle, an end gun, and then rotate on the x axis 90. Shift D. G Y then I'm gonna extrude it outwards and then I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make sure to not intersect the thing so if you intersect you cannot click it now if you click that add a particle system with ve velocity and then change on the y axis you can see hold on Hmm. All right, now it works. Why? There's a problem. Oh, for the this is the oh wait. Can I like, animate the thing? Hold on, I'm gonna crank this up. I'm gonna rotate it properly. Gonna put that in there and yeah we have like a shooter thing and then I'm gonna add a icos here to scale it down and then click on that uh, particle system oh. no no not the particle system but you get what I mean and then go da down and then click the render settings and render as object then go down and you, s you can see instance object you're gonna put the eyedropper tool and then click on the icon and then if you do it right now you can see you can't see it because it's too small you can see that thing the thing so you're gonna scale it up now you can see it I'm gonna add a plane so the camera cannot see it so like that you can add like a, a collision thing to the plane and if you do it now, it's going very really fast. Now you can shift D, rotate on the x-axis 90. I'm gonna put it right there. Yeah. I'm gonna play it. Now it's bouncing off really fast. Click that, control J. Uh, uh, the plane. 
Now, I'm gonna add some keyframes key to this. I'm gonna move it to the right side at the 20th frame. I'm gonna move it to the left side. Now you can see, it's like little. You can make so so much fun stuff with this. Uh, do that, and do that, and go back to normal. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that so fun to make? Um, I think I'm gonna break this by adding a collision. Hold on. Yeah, I broke it. I'm gonna do that. It's so nice. Click the, this thing. Rendered view. Delete that. Which world and then I'm gonna change it to light. I'm gonna add a material to this these planes, no material, and then I'm gonna go like that boot. And then I'm gonna change this to red. Actually no. I'm gonna change to blue as well. You can no, not like a dark blue. That and it's purple. Alright. Ch uh, select that uh well, I'm not, that's not how you do it. Check that, and then click uh, click on the new material, and then base color red. And we have a little like one of those little games that you see on mobile. Not really, but you get what I mean. So that's it for the tutorial. Thank you, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.